YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. Welcome back to the complete Phasmophobia equipment series that we are doing. On today's installment, what we're doing is we are covering the ghostwriting journal. All right, so as like in our other episodes, we've got the tier one here starting out. Tier one ghostwriting, horrible, absolutely horrible. It's a, it's a little memo pad that your grandpa would use to write you know, the grocery list for your grandma or something, right? Here's how to use it, all right? So you get it in your hand, and just like with the dots projector, you hold your place keybind, which for me, it's C. I don't know what it is for you or by default, but you hold your place keybind, and you see how the holographic symbol of the journal pops up but then if you look to the top of the screen you see kind of like a holographic circle so that is the interaction radius so if the ghost is within this radius it will interact with the ghost writing journal now one thing you got to know is if uh if it throws the ghost journal the ghost 100 percent does not have ghost writing evidence so even if you're on harder difficulties like nightmare or insanity where the ghost hides the evidence even if it throws it, you normally don't want to rule out stuff on higher difficulties, but if it does that, you can 100% rule it out. So yeah, if the ghost is standing in that in that uh, holographic circle that you saw when you went to place it, it's gonna interact if it has the ghost writing evidence, or if it doesn't and it wants to interact in the way where it throws the journal, it will do that as well. Try to level up as fast as you can to get the tier two, because you'll see in just a second when we grab our tier two, uh, just how much better it is. Because if the ghost interacts with this, you can't even see if you got ghost right, man. It's so bad. So on that note, we're gonna go grab tier two, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, so we have our tier two, and uh, as you can see already, just by the sheer size of this bad boy, you can see why it's important that you gotta get the tier two journal, man. Um, so same thing, but even then look dude look at the range higher interaction range as well with the with the tier 2 journal um, But if you open it up, it's got a darker page. So it makes um, Seeing the writing much easier same across the board with tier 1 tier 2 th tier 3 if it throws the journal It doesn't matter what tier it is if it throws the journal immediately rule out ghost writing because evidence has nothing to do with with abilities and the reason why i said that was because the mimic mimics every other ghost ability but one thing that used to trip me up about the mimic is i used to think that like if it does ghost writing or whatever then maybe it's a mimic but the mimic can't have any sort of like contradictory evidence the mimic will always have um spirit box uh uv and freezing but then it will also have orbs so ghost writing has absolutely nothing to do with um with the mimic so if it throws the ghost journal immediately rule out ghost writing. But speaking of ghosts that need evidence here, uh, here are all of the ghosts that need ghost writing evidence to uh, be that ghost, if that makes sense. So nothing nothing specific, unlike uh, whenever I covered the, the dots episode where the Gorio, you gotta have a video cam to see the dots. E everything else, especially ghost writing, is, is straightforward. There's no, there's no like hidden ability with with any of the ghosts where like it'll be like writing an invisible ink or some shit it's either gonna give you ghost writing or it's gonna throw okay freaking calling a mayor right now we're not gonna do a contract for the sake of your time but um it's either gonna write in the journal or it's either not gonna write in the journal completely or throw the ghost journal okay that's uh that's pretty much it so now i'm gonna show you the best of the best the peanut butter and jelly of the ghost writing which is uh tier three so now we're back with the tier three. This is a little bit spicy. This is a demon we're dealing with because we're at 100% sanity. Um, I'm gonna die. Don't come over here. It's gonna come over here. Well, this might be interesting. Okay, it started the hunt from this right here. Before I before I get killed by the demon again, uh, let me run out and grab smudge sticks just so we're protected, okay? I'm smudging the ghost, so it's done for 60 seconds. Okay, so uh, we got our smudge. We just smudged the ghost, so I have to speed run my showcasing of this tier 3 evidence here, or tier 3 uh, journal. But this is the best of the best. Here's what it looks like. It looks like a fucking Bible, dude. Like, the kind that your grandma had, right? King James only, baby. Um, so, yeah. But we are actually dealing with a demon right here, unless it's a mimic, mimicking a demon. But uh, the demon does have ghost writing, so maybe we'll get lucky and the ghost will interact with the, the journal. But uh, look at this interaction radius, man. It's all the way in the dining room right now. So if the ghost is within that radius, it's gonna interact with this. But 
I don't know if the ghost is in here or not. But the tier three is very big. It's got the largest interaction radius, obviously. But whenever it, whenever the ghost writes in the book, it does this really cool like lighting effect thing on it. Like the the edges of the page like light up. It's actually really fucking cool. So, anyways, maybe we're not gonna get it, and I really don't want to stick around to find out. But uh, can you give me a sign? Yeah, I'm not sticking around. So, anyways, of all the tiers of the Ghost Writing Journal, Tier Three is gonna be your best bet, man. It's just, I mean, and it looks cool. Look at this. It's like a, it's like the freaking Hocus Pocus book. So, with that said, you gotta get the Tier Three as fast as possible. But at the very least, you need to level up as fast as you can to get the Tier Two Ghost Journal. So, if you want to know how to level up really fast, watch this video that just popped up on the screen and uh, check out my XP farm strategy. Uh, so you can get that tier two ghost journal and even the tier three, okay? Or if you want to continue in on this series and you're like invested, right? You can click on the playlist that also just popped up on the screen. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.